Namaste, I'm Julie. Welcome to Yourself Yoga for Menopause, my YouTube channel. If you're brand new here, welcome. If you've been before, welcome back. So in this video today, I want you to ask yourself why you're here. Are you here because you're searching for an alternative to HRT for menopause? Are you here because you're looking for a natural solution to accompany HRT? Um, or are you here because you practice yoga and you're curious about menopause yoga? Whatever the reason, today's video will help. I'm going to be sharing four things with you. First of all, I'm going to be looking at the power of menopause yoga for alleviating the physical symptoms of menopause, such as joint pain, poor sleep, bloating, digestive issues and so on. Then I'm going to be looking at how menopause yoga can help uh, mental symptoms of, of menopause, which are often overlooked and can be just as bad, if not worse, like brain fog and anxiety. And then thirdly, I'm going to be covering those emotional issues, right? We can't quite work out why we lose our temper. We can't justify why we're being so irrational yeah they're all common emotional symptoms that rise up in menopause and i'm going to be talking about how yoga menopause yoga can help those and then lastly i'm going to be lifting the lid on the secrets of menopause yoga now before i get started if you're already like mm, I, i've never done yoga before i can't practice yoga doesn't matter, I didn't step on a mat until I was 53. You are in good company because menopause yoga is perfect for beginners. It's how I got started. So stay tuned and let's dive on in. Let's just talk about yoga secret powers, right? And this can be any yoga, not just menopause yoga, right? Because it has got these extraordinary powers that are so underrated. It's almost like it's the world's best kept secret. So in my personal visits to doctors, yoga was never mentioned once and I had joint pain and I had anxiety. What was I offered? HRT and I was offered antidepressants, right? No mention of yoga. I had to learn the hard way and find out for myself. I don't want that for you. Right, so there are 34 official symptoms of uh, perimenopause. That's the period leading up to menopause, which is defined as 12 months without a cycle, right? So, but here's the thing, perimenopause can last anything up to 10 years, right? 10 years of suffering with physical, mental, emotional symptoms. 34 of them, right? Guess what? Yoga can help alleviate most of them, which is what I'm going to be sharing next, right? And here's the other thing. It is totally natural. There are no pills or potions to take. There are no adverse reactions. There are no toxins. It can be practiced at any stage of life into your 90s, if we live that long, and it requires no fancy equipment. It can be practiced at home. It can be practiced in a studio. Super, super natural and flexible, right? It is like magic. Every time you step on a yoga mat, you detoxify the body, you cleanse the mind and you are alleviating your menopause symptoms. So let's take a look at how it can help with the physical symptoms. Okay, so... Physical symptoms of menopause. Joint pain is one of the worst. And the good news is, is that yoga can help. Yoga works every joint in the body. Think about it. Wrists, ankles, shoulders, hips, knees. Yoga moves all of those joints because what happens in menopause is that our tissues dry out, right? They become very, very dry and tight. It's the loss of estrogen that causes this. So we need to lubricate them. We need to get them moving. And yoga is absolutely perfect. There's a particular style of yoga called yin yoga, which I incorporate into my teachings, which is specifically targeting the tissues around the joint. So it's like a double whammy. Um, but you don't have to sweat it out on the mat for hours at a time for this to be effective, right? In my teaching, I teach three times a week for 10 to 15 minutes and you will get results. It's the consistency of practice little and often. Let's talk about sleep, a terrible, terrible 
a symptom of um, poor sleep, a symptom of menopause, very, very common, from not being able to get to sleep to waking up during the night, okay? The good news is, is that yoga calms the nervous system. Again, there are different types of yoga, and that's the beauty of menopause menopause yoga because we incorporate different branches of yoga restorative yoga practice before bedtime and you can do it on your bed right is perfect for alleviating anxiety stress for breathing out all the tension and calming the mind and um, rest in the body perfect for sleep but there's actually another style of yoga which is even better and that's yoga nidra and on those days where you've had poor sleep or during the night when you can't get back to sleep listen to a yoga nidra tape and honestly one hour is the equivalent to three hours deep sleep why don't they tell you this at the doctors Okay, so let's look at digestion, digestive issues, that menopause, belly and bloating, right? You don't have to take medication, move the body, twist the body in some yoga poses and get everything moving. It stimulates the digestive system, it stimulates the elimination system and the bloating and the constipation and the gas can be a thing of the past just by moving the body, but not excessively so in some very, very simple poses. So if you are a beginner, look at the link below, check it out, download my free guide, How to Get Started. It's exclusively for ladies in menopause. So let's take a look now at how yoga can help with those horrid uh, mental symptoms that menopause brings. And I'm gonna focus on uh, brain fog and I'm sure most women in menopause have struggled with this at some point um, and it's that feeling of not being able to retain information not being able to remember things scattered brained feeling complete overwhelm as if you're wading through a fog um, the good news is is that yoga really really helps to um, boost our brain in in any forward fold where we drop our head lower than our heart um, so it could be a standing forward fold where you're just dropping the head you um, are boosting sending fresh blood supply to the brain and this really helps to kind of bring more clarity um, to to reduce that fog and to get everything firing and then when we combine it with short meditations i only teach very short meditations because we don't have time for longer and um, combined with like a regular five minute meditation this helps to bring you into the present so you're more mindful so you're better able to focus and concentrate um, rather than being reactive and, and, and being totally scatterbrained. And then let's look at anxiety. Anxiety is a biggie in menopause, right? Even if you've never had anxiety before, it can come wham completely out of the blue. And it can be feelings of nerv nervousness. It could be anxiety that's debilitating, that you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. Um, whichever way it is, yoga can help. Um, and I think this is what yoga is most renowned for, of, of bringing calm, feeling more zen-like, less kind of churned up. Um, and any style of yoga helps, but restorative yoga in particular is very, very calming. It basically reduces the level of cortisol in our body, which is the stress hormone. It calms, it taps into our parasympathetic nervous system, which brings calm. It slows everything down. It's like having come back from a holiday when you've practiced a few restorative poses right and practice regularly just imagine how much better you will feel and less anxious so those are two of the most common mental symptoms um, that a menopause yoga can help with but if you want to know more on that and want to know just how yoga can help you in menopause and how to get results on the mat, look out for the link below and download my book, How to Beat Menopause with Yoga. Let's take a look now at those horrible emotional symptoms. So I think 
low mood is um, extremely common. I know with all the ladies I work with, um, you know, it, it's up and down. It's like a roller coaster ride. And um, any kind of physical activity, moving the body helps boost endorphins, those feel good uh, hormones. But yoga in particular um, moves around the energy in the body because we're moving all of the body. And just releasing that negative energy that can descend like a cloud um, really, really lifts us up. I know there's been times when I've got on a yoga mat feeling really flat, really deflated, and then stepped off and it's like someone's waved a magic wand. Um, and my ladies tell me that. It really, really helps to pick them up when we least feel like doing something. So lack of confidence is another one, another biggie. And lack of confidence... I think really, really strikes at this stage of life when our shape is changing, when we, we feel maybe our role has changed within the family, maybe we're dealing with an empty nest, or maybe even um, at work when we see all the younger people coming through um, and they're better able to deal with technology and so on, we feel a little bit redundant. Um, but the good thing is by practicing yoga, it helps to give you back that boosted self-esteem and that self-assurance that we lack uh, and the confidence. I have seen ladies in, in my membership completely turn their lives around and, and not just get back to their old selves, but go on to become, invent, reinvent themselves and, and tap into the dreams and follow the heart and, and create businesses and so on. So yoga is extremely, extremely powerful for self-confidence. And, you know, that can carry us a long way at this stage of life. So menopause yoga, what is it all about? So it's a blend of styles, right? There's no one style of yoga can alleviate all the symptoms. Um, because different symptoms require a different style of yoga. Uh, so in comes menopause yoga. I am super proud to be one of 600 teachers worldwide accredited to teach menopause yoga. Um, don't get me wrong, all yoga is good. All yoga is good. But if you are menopausal and you want to maybe find a natural solution to tackle these different symptoms that you may have, menopause yoga works more effectively. Now, it can be very hard to find a menopause accredited teacher where you are, which is why I set up my very own online platform. And um, it's suitable for women, maybe like you, curious about yoga, or for women who already uh, practice yoga. Um, but it guides you on a journey to learning the different styles of yoga and uh, being able to open up your body and um, enjoy all the benefits that it brings. So unlike most yoga that um, we see, mine is categorized according to symptoms. So you can choose yoga for whatever you're feeling on whichever day. So what, often what we want in the morning is very different to what we need in the evening. One day you may be feeling super anxious. Another day you may be, you may not have slept and you need something that's very, very calming to help you sleep. So you're in control, you can choose. Um, so in a nutshell, we've covered, right, how yoga, menopause yoga can help with physical symptoms, the mental symptoms, the emotional systems. And we've learned a little bit more about the power of menopause yoga and why it's different to traditional yoga. Okay. I just want to ask you this. If you are, have the choice to uh, consult a general doctor or a menopause specialist about your symptoms, which one would you choose? I think the answer is obvious, right? So bear that in mind, right? When you're choosing what style of yoga to practice, a menopause yoga specialist will be able to help you more with your symptoms. If you want to find out more about um, menopause yoga, how it can benefit you in all the different ways, how it can get results on the mat, and how to establish a really, really effective home practice. Look for the link below and download my book, which will give you all the answers. 
If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, please, please like, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to enjoy a lovely menopause sequence, watch the next video and I'll see you soon. Namaste.